We are on the go with Joe, and this morning he's getting one more look at a project that will help speed up public transportation. All month long, Joe has been learning about the Division Transit Project, and he's live to tell us how this will transform bus service all the way from Gresham to downtown Portland. Hi, Joe. Hey, good morning, Jeff. You know, I'm really excited about this because I've been talking about the Division Transit Project for the last month and this new bus service. Now we're finally getting to see these buses. So this is what they call the FX buses, and all this work is going so they can use these things. Now, what's different about them? Well, for one thing, here's your front door. Now, that's normally where you enter a bus in, right? Well, this one has multiple uh, entries. By the way, masks are required on public transit, so we'll mask up and come in here and show Roberta Allstott once again with TriMet. Roberta, you know, it's in the lead up to this, I've been referring to these things, I said, you know, these kind of sound like a max train on wheels. And now that we're inside them, okay, they really feel like, yeah. like a max train on wheels. Yes. Uh, three different entries, mm -hmm. you can, so you don't have to, you don't get crowded in the, through the front there. Yeah. The length is what, 60 feet? Which is 60 feet. much longer than a normal uh, transit bus, 40 right? 40 foot. 40 feet. <laughs> in addition to that, you've got, you said the seating is about the same as a normal bus, but mm -hmm. like on a max train, you can, there's, there's plenty of areas where you can stand, and that's yes. Thing as well, yes. right? So there's 45 seats on board, yeah. which is the same as a 40-foot bus, but the standing area is more like a max train, so you can get upwards of 100 people on here. That's kind of like subway in D.C. type of load. But yeah, yeah, and this is an articulated bus, right? Yes. So you've got this kind of like funky accordion-looking thing that, that Devin is right there. What are these things on the ground that we're seeing right here? These are for bikes. So we have two bike racks on board, and they're not vertical like you would have on the max because the buses go over a lot more bumps than you would on the train. So we have those on the floor. And then there's room for other people to have bikes on board, especially in the accordion area. On a regular bus, you know, you only have two bike racks on the front. And so if your bike doesn't fit, you either have to leave it behind or wait for the next bus. So this will give people more options to get on and board. In addition to that, this is also going to like speed up uh, pu tr public transportation. Essentially, Definitely. you'll be able to get in and off the bus a lot quicker, which will make things move a lot faster, yes. right? We've been talking about this all month. We have all door boarding, more level with the platforms. The hop readers are at every door, so you just tap and come on in, bikes on board. And also with transit signal priority and transit lanes and key locations, it's going to move these buses around the traffic congestion, making for a more efficient ride. We're expecting about a 20% reduction in trip times between downtown Portland and Gresham. Now you do have to wait. They're not going to go actually into effect until about a year from now. We're looking at September of 2022 when you'll actually be able to ride these new FX buses. But in the meantime, uh, one thing that we've been doing with TriMet is showing all these cool businesses that are on the yes. area because this is the Division Transit Project. It covers from Gresham towards downtown Portland. So uh, we're going to show more of those to you. We've got some cool spots we're going to show yes. throughout the morning. Roberta, thank you very much. Thank you. And a lot more to come uh, from the Division of Possibilities a little bit later in the show, guys. Back to you in the studio. All right, Joe. Thanks so much.